He said, nothing has happened to you as a What will be peace for you that you accept that you are a rebel? If you don't deny that, the crocodiles will eat you. In front of you, you see everything. On the fifth day, I noticed that soldiers came with a man to me. At that time, I did not know who Sana was. I didn't know Sana Manjang. When he came inside, Baji saluted the soldier. Open the door. Can I go and go fucking pack this man? Come and come and fucking pack this man. Sana le otafu. Sana said that. Ah, which Sana? Sana Sana Manjang. Otu mo malong ko Sana Manjang nemba. But kabirung kota da. Not alone. That time I did not know who Salamanjang was, but later on, as things went, I came to know that he and was Salamanjang. What was he at the time? Salamanjang was in the uniform. So I used to see him with military uniforms. Proceed, please. Military uniform on Kanu. Yes, a great thing. In military uniform. A very hard thing. Kanu. When they brought him inside where I was, anoni yam kondong. A man greeted me. Akonye enya safule. He greeted me in Jola. I said to him, I don't understand how much. I said to him, I am Mandinga. He said to me, I too speak Mandinga. Did he, did, did he tell you his name? I asked him, what is your name? He said, Kajali. Did he give you a last name? Kajali Jamme. Kajali Jamme. He said, Kajali he said, Kajali Jammeh, he said, yes. He said, but they call me Lecoq amongst the rebels. I said, him, I said to him, what brought you here? That time, Musa and the others had and gone, had and, had 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 gone. gone. and uh, I was with him. It's good. Very good. When we were discussing, I asked him, what brought you here? He said, he brought cannabis in, to sell. And uh, as yeah. a buy, living to buy food, to buy food, buy food okay. yes. and return back to the jungle. He said, when he got to Kanilai, Kanilai Komadamanding, behind Kanilai a little bit, I didn't call a singe, he dug a hole, I yamoning kido mabawala. He hid his cannabis and he's gone. He said, when he came into the village, he was going around, he met up with Sana. More informed Tala. That time he was not dressed in uniforms. He said he asked him. He asked him, "Are you from here? Do you live here?" He said, "Sana said to him, yes." He said to him, "What happened?" So So after that, he said to Sana, "I have cannabis." He said to him, let's go there. He said he led him. When they got to the back of the village, where he hid these things, he, he, they were bring, removing them out. Sana then saw the gun. He said, as soon as Sana's eyes saw the gun, at that time, Sana was having a gun which he did not know. He had a pistol. He said, Sana, remove it like this and put it inside on his ear and said to him, you are on the arrest. He said to me, this was how the case developed. As they were on their way coming, he tried to escape. Sana held him. They exchanged blows. They fought. People came. They assisted Sana. And he arrested him. And escorted him. And brought him. And he, that's how he found me. Where I was on the field. I was there. The killing. One day after. The day I got twelve days. Twelve days. That was the day he killed Kajali Fa. That was one Musa used. Who bad you call Bundai le yeh fucking fifteen now. Said Baji, open the door and bring this fucking man out. Who was that? Who was that? Who sent that? Said Baji, open the door and bring this fucking man out. Who was that? Was that? Who said that? Sana. Jumale of Sanat. That was Sana. Ah. Sana who? Sana Manjam. Yaji. Kabri Baji Dayale. When Baji opened the door.
they brought Kajali out. Sana said to him that. The day that I arrested you, you wanted to show me that you were powerful. But today you are under my control. I will kill you and chop off your head and take it inside and give your meat to the, to the crocodiles. And that was, that was what he did. Take it step by step. Ta demanding, demanding. Tell us what Sana told Lecoq. Kajali. A funny thing, Saya can Sana remember for Kajali. Do carry a follow man, do man. Okay. Akaiko. Sorry. Akaiko. He said to him that. Abru lungo man nange muda. On the day that I arrested you. You were resisting. For the extent that you were even throwing blows at me. You thought that you were trained. trained. But I was I am more trained than you are. But But today, you are here under my control. Whatever pleases me, I will do to you. There is no order that society my order in this society here. I will kill you. I will take your head inside. I will take your meat and give them, give it to the crocodile. Which language was Sana speaking to Lekong? Lekong. 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 Did you do you know how Kajali was killed? Yeah, lonely by Kajali Fanya Dile Ruba Cutlass Cutlass Yunkoka Landila Kanate. He placed him on the ground. He didn't place him on the ground and slaughter him. Then Kajali Belor in Nebe Diamola. They were standing face to face. This Baba Bulok and Muruba may Niamuta Tanaka Jankale, Aka Jankale. It was a big cutlass which Kapo was in, in Sana's hand, which had stops on both sides, and they call it in Mandinka as Habisaro. That's what he was having a sword, a, a fighting the, sword. In, in they were standing facing each other. When he, when he finished talking to Kajali, Kajali he said to Kajali, I will kill you. Kasamas. You will never go back to Kazamas. You are the people who come here with guns and commit crimes here. Kajali, Kayako, Kajali said to him, a really, truly, I am a rebel. MDC. MFDC. But we are not criminals. I brought something here for which I'm going to sell. If I sell it, I will have something to buy food. That's what brought me here. He said to Kajali, You are lying. He said to Kajali, In fact, my uh, discussion with you will not be long. I, I was standing at the door, I held the door like this. I was listening to them. Baji was sitting down. He turned his chair, looking at them. Sana was standing. He was having this sword. He was, there was a friend of him, a soldier like him, standing behind what, him. Do you know that soldier's name? Your soldier no, no, I didn't know his name that, that instant. After Nata alone. I later on came to know him. Suleiman Sol. Suleiman Sol. Sol is an instant at an he, is a, he was a close friend to Sana. Yeah. They used to go together. What et, of what ethnicity? Mun Silem Wati. Jolalam. Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu. Suleiman Sambu also, which profession was he in? Suleiman Sambu atabe munila mumole ma atabe mundo kula utumu. I always see him Sana in Sana. Sana wana je. Whenever Sana comes there, hani yamul meni muta na nisi sunyal ni yamul meni sam na yebe fa. Even Suleiman na nik Sana kana. Even those who were caught stealing cattle and they were brought there and killed, Suleiman is always with Sana. Would you say he was a soldier as well? So, so, soldier in form of He had military uniforms. Proceed, please. So, so Sana was there, there, Suleiman was standing, uh, Baji was sitting. Yes. Uh, you were standing by the door yeah. watching. Tell us what happened. He said to Kajali that your time has come to an end. I see nothing else except to kill you. I, I have arrested you. You did not beg me. 
to the, and you are hitting me attempting to escape but here you will not escape. You are inside my mouth and I will eat you up. That was when he held the sword. He wanted to cut his head. I, that, no, he, that, he he was, that he was going to cut his head, I never thought mm -hmm. of that. I never thought a human being would stand and uh, watch another human being. Your eyes are locked to at other each other. Yakunkund. And you take a sword and chop off his head. Moto I never thought of that. Hanbi is hanbi. Even up to date, Metal. it's been a long time. But what Sometimes I used to have night nightmares about it. When he swung the sword on Skadali, the blood splotted out as if if you killed. The, the song was wiggling inside the mouth as if he was trying to mumble something which was not audible. He, went, he held the sword, went after Kajali's head and... Could you come out and demonstrate to us yes. how it happened? Your time is finished. We will meet you there. Kajali Kayoko, Kajali said to him, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to die. I, because I know that if I die mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. one fine day you will find me in the next world. Mm -hmm. That's what made Sana more angry. He insulted the man's mother. When he insulted the mother, mm -hmm. he just turned the sword and swung the mm -hmm. sword. Mm -hmm. Kajali's head went this way and the body fell on the other side. At that instant, I was unable to uh, recognize anything because, because I was so terrified that uh, I cannot recognize anything because since the day I was born, I have never seen anything like this. But when the head fell down, he stamped on the man's head so the body was shaking. That's the time I came to know Suleiman Samu's name. Samu turned. Solomon. He said, Solomon, bring me back. Bring a bag for me. Suleiman came. Put his hand inside pocket. He took out a bag. He opened the bag. Sana held the man's head, Kajali's head. He put his two fingers in the man's nose thrills. He took up the man's head and told him everything will be clear now. He put the man's head inside the bag. They left. Baji. He said to Baji, pull, drag this body and bring him and place him on top of this cement slab. He told Baji that the crocodiles will be fed with this man's meat. Yeah. You chop off his leg from here. He came to his waist and he chopped it off. After he cut it off, the chest, this part, he placed it like this. He took a cutlass. He tore it in the middle. Suleiman Sambu brought a bag, a sack. I recognized the sack, it was a sugar bag. When they put him inside, who did the chopping? He chopped. So the man held on to one side. He held on to one side. He faced where the lions were kept. Because behind the lions, you had the crocodiles. He said, let's fucking give, it to, give him to the crocodiles to have, it, have him for dinner.